Hello, this is Survival Guyver, and today's review is the Nebo Poppy. This is a lantern slash flashlight. It's got a flashlight on the bottom, and when you open this up, you just pull, and there's a lantern. So it says in the front here, 300 lumens on the lantern, 120 on the flashlight or the spotlight, and it's dimmable. Both the flashlight and the lantern side are dimmable. Um, it's got this strap on the side which I'm going to show you what that does real quick. So you can obviously carry it this way or if you had like handlebars or something to put over the side. Um, but these are actually removable. You just press inwards, you can release it and there's another set up here where you can just pop it in. Now you can hang it this way, so if the lantern is on, you can hang it from, say, like the inside of a tent, or on your trucking pole, or you know, just about anywhere, as long as you have a place to hold it. And the strap here is rubber, it's a flexible rubber. Um, of course, you can hold it this way. When I'm hanging it for long term use, I'll use these two little holes here that are in on the inside here. To give it a more secure wrap, like for uh, paracord. So let me show you what's on the back here. Close this up for a moment. There's international pat pen, uh, patents pending. So we got 300 lumens lantern for seven and a half hours. 35 lumen lantern for 40 hours. It's uh, high and low. Um, a high on the spotlight, 18 hours, 120 lumens and 15 lumen spotlight, which is obviously the low, for 90 hours. That's not too bad. If you open up this uh, ticket here, and there's some instructions on the inside. How to activate the lantern, how to activate spotlight, dimming the light, and memory power setting. I don't use the memory power setting, because these are just, uh, I have a pair of these lights, they sit in my, um, uh, inclement weather or storm kit, uh, which I'll eventually show, but for now I'm just going to show what's in it, and then I'll show you the rest another time. So, to turn this on, you're looking for that. So the end gives you the flashlight on the front. It's actually on its highest. And if I hold it, it'll slowly get dim and then come back up. This is actually bright. And then it'll dim down really, really low. So, how does the lantern work? Well, if you have the light on, just pull up on the top and the flashlight will automatically turn off, ready for the lantern. So if I press that same end button there, the lantern works. It's three-sided. It's quite bright. You can't really tell because of the amount of light that I have already in the room here. But it's quite bright. And again, pull the button, and it will dim to its lowest. And if you hold again, it'll get brighter and brighter and brighter to its brightest. So that's it. And if you close it, it'll turn right off. You don't even have to hit the button again. Of course, this is movable or removable completely. I'm going to put it back on this side. I'll show you what powers this little thing. Okay, what the heck? There we go. Really hard to do with the camera in the way. So, sorry about that. Okay, so on the back here, there's this piece here that says open one direction, close the other. On the inside, there are three batteries. These are generic Duracell batteries, but I believe when you buy this, it comes with Nebo batteries. Still double A's. I actually had to go find them because those are dead. 
Of course, there's a little bit of room on the inside, which is fine because you could always put something there if you absolutely had to, as long as it doesn't touch the batteries. That's it. So the lens, if you need to, comes off. Unscrew this. That takes the trim ring off. And then there's two really small screws. They're Phillips head here and here to take the lens off. It's IPX7 um, rated. So it will take some water, but not a lot. So I wouldn't try to use this as a submarine, but it'll work really well in some decent storms. Yeah, it took a moment. I couldn't put this back on with the camera in the way. I couldn't see what I was doing. Um, so this is the dark gray color. They come in a whole bunch of colors. There's a, a green, a purple, a red, orange, a blue, uh, and then this dark gray color. Both mine are dark gray. And in the description below, there's going to be a link for Amazon and for Nevo's website. Right now, they're on sale uh, uh, on Nevo's website, so I would take a look there before Amazon. Um, although, granted, I do get a small commission with Amazon if you decide to buy something on it using one of my links, because I'm an affiliate. Uh, I am not with Nevo, but again, you know, I'm trying to give you the best price I can for some really good stuff. Um, so regardless if I get any deal off it or not, um, this is something for you. So this, again, is the Nebo Poppy Lantern slash Flashlight. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the below in the comment section or email me, and I will answer it usually pretty quickly. Uh, of course, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Uh, it helps out a lot so I can figure out what it, people would like to see and so I can make more videos of stuff that you actually want to watch. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching and have a glorious evening. Thank you.